No. Welcome back, mm -hmm. Achievers, to your Easy Achiever Game Podcast, where we discuss the previous week in gaming. Maybe go over a topic or two. I'm one of your hosts. Elijah sitting across from me virtually is Alex. Hello. How are you, Alex? Pretty good. And um I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling good about myself today. That's great to hear. I feel pretty good myself as well. Um I had my Wheaties this morning, so I'm energized your, as always. Wait, 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 repeat that. You had your what? Wheaties. Your Wheaties? Yeah, Wheaties. What you never hell? heard that commercial? What the hell is that? And I didn't actually eat Wheaties. You don't know what Wheaties are? I have never heard of Wheaties. Wheat Wheaties? Or it's it's the square of wheat. The cereal? Oh, you you mean? Okay, I, you talking yeah. about? Okay, you talking about mini wheats? Yeah, mini wheats. Whatever. They're, okay, but they're called Wheaties, right? Are, are you are, are you sure? Wheaties? Okay. I'm pretty sure. No, 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 <laughs> no. Sure. Hold, hold on, hold on. Because sure. my wife eats that, the I, hell out of uh, mini wheats. I have to ask her. It, it got, please, oh, please God. do it. Hold on. But I, there is a famous commercial, mm. and I'm sure mm. people are listening know. It's, it, did you have your wheat? No, I, I don't remember. It was easy. If you had your Wheaties, or, oh, I had my Wheaties, hey. so I'm ready. And that was, the, that was like the joke of the commercial was, I, I had my Wheaties, so I'm ready to uh, combat the day. Um, and and I didn't actually That's eat a different brand. Okay, I made it. I made it. But the yeah. Official brand. We you can hear him a little bit through the recording. I think. Say, but yeah, Wheaties. He had Wheaties and I, I like, like frosted Wheaties specifically, of course. They're mini Wheaties. You know, the frosted Wheaties are like little mini Wheats. Um, is, different brand. Is not correct. I feel like I don't remember. But Wheaties are delicious, uh, especially when they're. Fr frosted. Carly said it. I think I had strawberry. What is uh, it? As a kid. Oh, oh, uh, she yeah. She said Wheaties is completely different. I'm thinking of uh, the, like frosted mini wheats, and your yeah, the, the cereal yeah, you're the, talking about is it's like frosted flakes but with nothing on it. Is that what I mean? I, I, I would assume because she just looked it up because she eats mini yeah, wheats, which is like right. little frosted mini wheats. No, you're right. You're right. Okay. You're so, right. Okay. I was thinking of of Wheaties frosted mini wheats is what I was thinking of. Okay. Yeah, yeah they're that's literally called weird. Oh, okay. Is there not a thing called just? I guess wheats are. Yeah, no, just, you're right. Well, yeah. I thought the original frosted mini wheats were just wheats, but I guess not. It, God. Okay. okay now, Google, if you're at home right now, Google wheats and like recoil. Oh no, and, and I could see, I could see it. No, like, yeah, no, Wheaties <laughs> is the the blandest frosted flakes I've ever the, seen. That looks like tree bark. And why is there a a why is there sports people on the cover? That was that. Well, the see the thing back then was you were you were cool when you got on the Wheaties box, because the Wheaties box was uh, like like they would always showcase an athlete. So if you were like an Olympian or something, they would pay and you would be sponsored on a Wheaties huh. box. <laughs> yeah, no, that that is very those look things, disgusting. That's why I don't know it well. I just. Hold these things. No, those look gross. Oh, I, 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 I hate mini wheats, and Alex, I'd rather eat those. Favorite cereal, right now. Favorite, right now. favorite cereals favorite on cereal. the spot. You're going in. You're going in an aisle. What's it? It will go straight. Without Ooh, Fruit Loops. Oh, oh, that's a good choice. It's hard because Funny I wanted to. Say, I wanted to say Apple Jacks, but it's, it has to be Fruit Loops. Mm. I respect the Apple Jack. Yeah. But it's you never buy it. it Tasty cinnamon. Right. Uh, taste the cinnamon, of course, uh, but but you never buy the the apple jacks. You always see it. You always look at it. You mm -hmm. always think about it, mm -hmm. but you never actually buy. You anything. know what? Next time we get cereal, babe, add apple jacks to this to the list. Oh, <laughs> I, I was hoping I'd hear go fuck yourself. <laughs> she, probably, she probably said it. I love um. Something I haven't had in a long time, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Ooh, that one's good. It's phenomenal. A phenomenal. Um, it will straight up give you, like, the sugariest of all rest. Mm-hmm. How does it go? Oh. But on second thought, we don't run a serial podcast, Alex. No, we do a gaming podcast. This is where 
We join you every single Friday. Free feeds like podcast services that you're listening to right now or YouTube. If you enjoy kind of content even more than that, then please you head over to patreon.com slash you can give us a dollar. Make sure you get exclusive every single month. And then you can give us a little more for extra goodies, of course. Check out our socials at EVM1000 at Cravius Skater if you want to scream at us for our opinions. Scream. Before we get into the news this week, Alex, mm. let me ask you a question. Mm. What have you been playing? Hmm. Animal Crossing. And Apex. Yeah. Yeah, same. The exact same. I keep um sprinkling a lot of Persona 5 Royal. See, I've played so, I keep saying I'm going back so to it, much of this game. And every time I want to go back to it, something comes up to where like I never get the chance to sit down. Or like I like I wanted to go play today, but I just like was doing other stuff and then Animal Crossing and I'm like, "Well, and I'm I'm going to go play Persona." And then like something else came up. And I'm like, ah. "So it's frustrating because I want to just sit and play it, but then something else comes cuz I'm like, "All right, well now I want to play Apex." Yeah, I mean, definitely with the new season of Apex, it's yeah. it's tantalizing to just to go straight straight back to Apex every time. Mm-hmm, for sure. I, so like I'm now, I'm like, I don't know the, when I'm gonna go back. New legend. If you pay Apex Legend, you of course know that Loba was added. And she's yeah, really fun. To yeah, use. I like her. She's pretty fun. Her teleport little bracelet thing is so fun. I didn't know that. Like, yeah, because I played. I, I didn't get the chance to play her the first night, so I played her. I played as her yesterday, and uh, when right. I. I was at so for these for all these Apex people. I, we I was at artillery with uh, two other people. I yeah. I was at the I was at the top on the right usually where you go and um uh-huh. somebody was chasing me and I had a evo shield. Shot him, knocked him, got it to blue. Shot somebody from a distance, got the uh, I think I knocked him, got him to purple and then somebody chased me. I broke her. And I didn't have, I had no health. Like I had a slither of health, but all I have was shields. And I had, n- there's literally no heals anywhere. So like I was in that little uh, room in the in the top. So I threw my teleporter, and I didn't know that if you hold art, uh, right trigger, it shoots it just straight down. Um, so I yeah. threw it like as yeah, far as I could, and, and then just to, the to get out of there, I shot it to the ground, and I hid behind a uh, a wall, and then. I got another knock, but then I died because I was like, "There's dude, no, there was no heals whatsoever in artillery." <laughs> but she's uh, fun. Fortune that shine on you. No, yeah, yeah it, it definitely is. It, it definitely is fun, and there's a new like um, treasure pack mechanic that you yeah. get like extra unlocks if you grab them, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll be playing a lot more tonight, so we'll get much more in depth. But so far, I like the things. There are issues. Um, there's a lot of apparently no registers, which means. Uh, when someone shoots another character, it is not registering correctly. You can actually see the bullet hitting them and making the ping sound that they've gotten shot. Oh, weird. Not registering as damage. So there are some bugs, but they're ironing them out. I'm sure they'll get to them. Yeah. Um, but mm, Persona 5 Royal for me has been my main squeeze this past week. Playing so much of that. I've hit the third semester for everyone who knows. Oh, that nice, is, nice. I've hit all new content. So I'm enjoying that. I just am at the very, very beginning. So I'll probably finish that out mm-hmm. over the course of the weekend and uh, Monday, Tuesday. Probably beat it. Hopefully. Okay. Fingers. But that's about it. I've all been talking. Alex, we have some things to go over before the news hit. First, I want to ask, did you watch the Ghost of Tsushima gameplay state of play? Did I watch that Ghost of Tsushima state of play? Yes, I did. That looked amazing. Yes, I enjoy it looks every bit of it. Very cool. I had a lot of fun. I, I liked I liked the deep dive we got. Yes. Because this is me that oh hey. Everyone listening right now knows I've been complaining that I have no idea what the game even really is. Yep. Now we do. And I still don't really know know what the story is, but we got a lot of gameplay, which I'm fine with. Yes. I'm fine with no story and all gameplay. And it's crazy because my What's your favorite part? Um so when I'm thinking of this game my mind was very like for some reason i was thinking that it was going to be very dark soulish on right how the ui would be like or like you know the cuss like the menu and, and stuff like that would be when they popped up with okay. them with the map and uh, everything like first off the map i i, I it's simplistic and i enjoyed it a lot because it's like okay everything there's this right here there's this right here and like you like it's very easy to use 
and I and I really enjoyed that because a lot of things have been they've been um, what's the word? It's it's uh, very difficult to understand on certain games. So like I like that it's easier on the eye. Well, I like this the like you said simplicity of the actual screen. It doesn't look mm. like a lot's going on. No, and yeah. I love the dedication to um, immersion. Yes. Because if you saw that, you, it looks like there's a thing where you follow the wind. Yes. And it looks like that's that, for that main cool. objectives. Yes, it's it's like your waypoint. And, like so, you you follow that yeah. instead of having an arrow. And just in case you didn't watch this, we highly recommend you watching. It, he literally looks. And you, there's an, uh, a button, it uh, looks like a button prompt or button press. You click, and a wind gust shoots by you, and it goes to a specific direction, and then you follow that. So you don't have to, you know, put, pull up your map or something. Yep. And it looks really native and seamless, which looks nice. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. It's like you're just running around, and you just see, like, a little bit of wind, and I'm like, you're like, oh, okay, that's where I need to go. Um, and then there's animals that yes. guide oh, you, too. Which is I cool. love that the animals, like, are, are like, help you. Yes, that was cool. There's like a, I was the, the one that pulled out to me was there. There's a bird, and I think it sh- it showed him to, like for other uh, like side quests sort of, and stuff like that. Area, and then the fox will show you the shrines. Which yes, is really cool. And then I read a little bit before. So apparently, there's two ways of fighting. One mm-hmm. way, which is honorable, straightforward combat, and the second way is dishonorable stealth. Yeah, like ghosts. Which type. is interesting. I don't, yeah, so apparently if if you play stealthy, I don't know if that will have any gameplay ramifications, but apparently it's called dishonorable when you stealth kill people without actually fighting them, which is interesting. I'll, I'll be curious if there's some sort of yeah karma system or something with that. Yeah. But that th- I'm I'm very excited and it looks very cinematic too, especially oh, with sure. that black and white mode that you can turn it on. Yeah, the um, the old samurai mode cinema thing. Yeah, you can turn it to black and white if you'd like. And play the whole game that way. Mm-hmm. Um, there seem to be different stances. For, yes, uh, that reminds me a lot of sure. Neo because in Neo they had four different stances. Like you know, you have uh, like upper stance, lower stance, and it all depends like that. Ah, I never played Neo. It reminded me of For Honor. Yeah, because that's the only thing I've. Yeah, yeah, with, very like, similar to that combat. too. But yeah, I rem- that reminded me of For Honor a lot. Yeah. Because in that, I think you choose the way you block is mm-hmm. like your stance. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed them showing the customization like how how many different styles you can have on your character yes yeah the customization looks great yeah. and you can pick flowers to change change the, the color uh, color thank, thank yeah. you thank you and i will 100 percent only be in the all black with the mask outfit, oh for sure because that looks sick yeah i mean like my gin could um, be look different from yours yeah, 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 which is cool. Yeah. And then there's different gameplay ramifications for that appears. It looks like it gives you certain stat boosts with mm-hmm. what you wear. Um, and the game is scheduled for July 17th. There's a full gameplay uh, state of play you can watch that mm-hmm. go kind of an overview of the game, the world, the photo mode. Yes. Um, and what you can expect from the game, which looks really good. Uh, but, yeah, go check that out. Um, and, um, Alex, I wanted to – oh, go ahead, please. Oh, no, no, go ahead. Go ahead say what you're about to say. No, no, no. I was going to move on. Do you have anything to leave on Ghost of Tsushima? Um, no, I mean, just like, yeah, it's it's really awesome. And if you like those type of games, like samurai-type games, this one looks like it's more on the traditional base. Like, you know, let's say, like we said earlier, that you can play it as a samurai cinema. If you like those type of movies to where you're like, oh, you know, it's like a showdown, you can do that. It, that's what it, they're leaning towards if you're wanting to do that. It's, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. And, very, um, very cinematic. And also, and t- as of uh, July 17th, what else is coming out? On July 17th? Yes, there's something else coming out that day. I'll give, uh, you, I'll give you a hint. It's paper. Uh, uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. I got this. Intermission. Paper Mario <laughs> in the Origami King. There we <laughs> go. On July 17th, 2020. Uh, skipping to, to new, uh, new announcements. <laughs> I just Mario, figured the Origami it... King will be coming July 17th. It was uh, re- uh, announced today by Nintendo randomly in a random drop. Uh, not announcing anything. So they just dropped the trailer this morning, which was very peculiar, but looks cool. What did you think of that? I did just it thought it was. You at all? It looks fun. I just never really got into Paper Mario, so I'm not sure how they I like have are. Not even played before. I've seen the one on the 64. I think it was like uh, uh, Paper Mario Thousand Something. I forgot. Thousand Year Door. Yeah, that one. I've seen that one, but I've never okay. played it because, to be honest, it was 
in, when I lived in Miami, there was like a bunch of McDonald's had like and Nintendo 64s like inside the arc inside the like the play areas, and they had you know Mario te- Mario Party, Mario Tennis, and then they had one that had literally Paper Mario, and I'm like, uh, all right, and I, I watched it, but I never played it. Mm-hmm. I watched the trailer. It looks like Princess Peach is mm-hmm. mad or mean or being know, possessed she, in some way, and you're actually teaming up with Bowser, which is cool. Yeah. Um, there's a full trailer you can watch, but it, it looks it looks interesting. They seem to not be using the word RPG anywhere, which I'm curious if mm-hmm. that means it's going to be something else entirely, or if they just didn't feel like they needed to say it was an RPG. Usually they're RPGs, and I'm curious if they're going to try and make this game different. Mm. I don't know. It, it, it yeah. looks weird. Like, it, it, it looks strange, but in a good way. Like, it, 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 like it, it's very colorful and pleasing to my. Well, eyes. like it's Paper Mario. Like, so you think it was be side scrolling, but then they add the three D effect to where like you can run around and you see Paper Mario just like flip back and forth. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I, I like these. No, no, I did too. I, I just, I'm, I, I guess it's my eyes not used to that type of thing. So. Yeah, I get it. It, it. it is strange because it's a sentient being as well. Like, you're, mm. like it's a person, but he's a piece of paper. Yeah. Um, but also, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, supposedly leading into the 35th anniversary oh, of Mario. Wait. And this was the rumored pop, uh, Paper Mario game we were getting. Though, mm. most likely, everything else is true. And soon, Give me at sunshine. some point in June, we'll Give most me likely, sunshine. We, yes, yes, we will most likely get Sunshine, Super Mario 64, and Super Mario Galaxy, which is very exciting. And if that works, then I guess uh, GameCube games can work on there. So that means give me more GameCube games. For example, oh. Kirby Air Ride. Give it to me now. Kirby Air Ride. Dra- cool. Grabbing that from the ether. I've never played that game, but I played it, I guess, before I, we released Let's it. just say it's a bunch of Kirby characters. And I never was a big on Kirby guy, but I don't know why I love this game so much. You can literally, you're like in a big arena to where like there's different like air skateboard type of things, like little aircrafts. Like let's say there's like a, a star. You can jump on the star and it's like a vehicle and you run around and you actually got to fight people. It's like a battle arena. And there's like the different like power ups that you got to hit each other with and stuff like that. It's actually, it's so much fun. Okay. Yeah, okay. like, I don't know okay. why. It's just, it, 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 yeah, it was so much fun. Like, I just played that nonstop. Like, I just get on, like, different skateboards. Each diff- skateboard had its own power. Uh, and, like, you can just, like, battle each other out, and it's so much fun. I was too busy playing Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Stadium. And see, I want super po- I want Pokemon XD or DX or whatever. I can't remember which way it was. Dar- Darkness I think one I remember that, Lugia. but I played Stadium because I would always make, like, level 60s and have them fight each other. Mm-hmm. It was like the I think uh, that one was like the first Pokemon 3D Pokemon kind of like dude, it wasn't like up and up that down. That sounds right. Cuz that would be one of the first console Pokemon in quotes. Yeah. But enough of Pokemon. I want to talk about the Unreal Engine 5 being dude. showed off. Uh I believe it was Wednesday. What? was going on with that alex dude did you I, watch that full gate like oh, yeah. looking thing so like i i watched it and like at the very beginning where they showed the rubble inside the cave and just like paused it there yeah i looked at it and i was like i even showed i even showed my wife and i was like look at this and she was like and i was like this is the new engine for video games she's like is that real or is that is that a game and i was like it's a game she's like oh damn it looks super real it's and, ve- it was very strange watching the thing r- rubble fall and you seeing oh, yeah. the rock and then looking at it naturally sit it was it was yeah. a strange feeling of seeing that it, it i it, it looks it looks very good oh yeah for sure and then uh i when it really hit me is when she was squeezing through the rocks mm-hmm. because the, the when she was rubbing her fingers on the rock like mm-hmm. it just looked such like a natural rock structure. It's very strange. It, it was strange, but it looks. It looks. No, great. yeah, yeah. It, it looks. It looks so good. And it, whatever that game is, dude, I'm excited for it. Cause like when she jumped off that cliff and just started flying through that area where it was breaking down, dude, that looks so fun. Yeah, it definitely reminded me. Uh, it reminds me of when people complained uh, about the. P- I think it was the. PS, was it the PS3 tech demo? It was some tech demo, but they remade the Final Fantasy VII remake oh, beginning part. Yeah, and that's what made people always want the damn game. I know, I know. It reminds me about, yeah. of that. 
where they didn't initially plan on actually making a game, but it feels like with this one, they plan on doing something because mm-hmm. they even end the way they end it is her going through that portal and saying, "Let's see what's next." And yeah. I'm like, hey, "Are you guys planning on like doing something with this?" Yeah. Which Epic Games made this, which you assume they wouldn't make anything else because that means like that, that you assume they're on Fortnite because they're making them. I think I think they made them up like a billion dollars on Apple Store alone. Mm-hmm. I read the other day. Which is insane, <laughs> like is 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 maddening. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm just it's crazy, like with this whole Unreal Engine five thing, like it looks so good, and then just like just thinking of what games it will, like that will carry on to. And just so people are aware, in please watch the tech demo. It looked awesome. Just so people are aware, though, it is technically not out yet. It comes out no, twenty yeah, yeah. twenty one, <clears> and then you know the way games work most games we we won't see probably a unreal engine 5 game probably till 2025 2024 mm-hmm. at the earliest so but you know oh, temper your expectations but please be excited because it looks amazing um, i mean one game was confirmed and w- what was that uh fortnite fortnite was confirmed for the will be um, optimized next gen games is that we're talking about well, it says it will be optimized for next-gen consoles migration to engine Unreal Engine 5 due, to, due in 2021. So, yeah, yeah so maybe, yeah. They'll re- maybe, the- maybe they'll put in some new assets or something. Yeah, or that's maybe what I was thinking. Re-run- oh. Give us a second, everyone. It looks like Elijah disconnected. I'm going to keep this recording going. <clears throat> and he's coming back. So you disconnected, Back. and I'm still. Yeah, you're. I'm still recording, and I told everybody you got disconnected. So there we go. We're back. Yes, yeah, there we're we back, go. everyone. That was strange. Yeah, it was weird. Moving on to while we're on the topic, I wanted to bring up uh, over by Matt Kim on IGN. PS5 SSD is far ahead of high-end PCs. Epic Game CEO says, Epic Games revealed its next-gen en- uh, game engine, Unreal Engine 5, to showcase the power of its new engine. Epic revealed a brand new full playable tech demo that's running on the PlayStation 5 in real time. IGN asked, what advancements are in the PS5 that allows for Unreal Engine to function at this high of a level on the... Epic founder and CEO Tom uh, Tim Sweeney explained that it was the system storage advancements Sony hardware architect Mark Center revealed earlier this year that makes the next gen... But I think first of all, Sony has a massive, <coughs> massive increase in graphics performance compared to previous generations but you know i guess we get that every generation as we uh, joked but sony's made another breakthrough that in many ways is more fundamental which is a multi-order magnitude increase in storage bandwidth and reduction in storage latency it's revealed back in march in a digital deep dive on the ps5 hosted by sony sony revealed its custom solid state drive that targets at least five gigabyte per second in terms of bandwidth that's compared to the 50 to 100 megabytes per second capable on the current PS4 hardware, which is a lot more. The PS5 puts a vast amount of flash memory very, very close to the processor. So much that it's really fundamentally changes the trade-off that games can make in streaming, and that's absolutely critical to this kind of But this is not just a whole lot of polygons in memory. It's also a lot of polygons being loaded every frame as you walk around through the environment. (laughs) And this sort of detail you don't see in world would absolutely not be possible at any scale without these breakthroughs that Sony's made. Sony says that the uh, storage architect is far ahead of, quote, the best SSD solution you can buy on PC today. And so it's really exciting to be seeing the console market push forward and PC market. Hmm. And then Epic, well, Epic wouldn't comment on any potential performance differences between PS5 and Xbox. When he confirmed that the features shown today, like real-time global illumination, virtualized geometry, are, quote, going to work on all. <clears throat> Exciting. Yeah. All this is because we're getting SSD in systems, right? Yeah, no, that, that's that's great. And how fast they'll be able to pull. I, I didn't know it was that big of a difference. 50 to 100 megs a second in the current PS4. Changing to 5 gigabytes per second in terms of bandwidth. Which is wild. That is that is more than 100 times faster. Which is, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, it's yeah, like five hundred times. Better. Yeah, no, I'm I'm excited because I want to see if that's what's um because everybody's saying it's like oh the you know the games have so like so much many faster load times and um like with that um oh you got disconnected again sorry about that guys something's going on with our thing sorry elijah's connection sucks it's not my fault okay I'm pretty sure it's yours. No. Moving on. Moving on. Um, no, I was, I was, I was telling everybody before I realized that you got disconnected. Um, <laughs> that uh, no, I can't wait because maybe that's why they showed like you know the Spider-Man, the tech demo, whatever, saying oh there's no load time, so maybe that's what the hard drive can help with. Yeah, and they just detached him and just shot him through a rocket. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that looked really cool. Yeah. I'm very excited for if that's like, you know, not not if it's not possible, but if any sort of utilization will be used mm. and also i want to fly oh Let yeah fly yep i want to fly in games now like it's been a while i feel like it's been a while since i've been able to fly in a video game give like me to a large uh, i mean give us a superman game and we should be able to there we go there we go we figured it out yep uh it is uh i believe the end of quarter one right so we're getting uh all the financials mm. this is what i wanted to go over Titanfall, no new games currently in development, suggesting 2019 games. Uh, over on Joe's, uh, by Joe Scrabbles on IGN, there are no Titanfall games in development right now, suggesting a Titanfall game teased last year may have been canceled, but Respawn co-founder Vince Zampella once asked by IGN if the Titanfall Zampella explained, quote, there's nothing currently in development, but it's always there, end quote. Although the studio head still has a soft spot for the franchise to help out its competition. However, quote, you see the little bits of stuff do the lore in Apex. At some point, it would personally uh, like to see uh, to some kind of resurrection there. We'll see if I can make that happen. And then uh, it goes in last year, as Ampella teased that there would be more Titanfall coming in 2019, with EA CEO Andrew Wilson subsequently mentioning a premium Titanfall game that would be, quote, a twist on the franchise. Being developed by also for and has been delayed seems more likely to have been canceled alex do you care about this do you care to see um, another all not right now because i have apex it's very strange that we got apex from Titanfall because looking at it it doesn't it doesn't even look like the same game oh no for sure no not not at all like the games uh sorry not the game sorry the guns of course like the guns are the exact same but like if you oh, yeah. if you show someone like those two screenshots back to back, I don't think I'd be able to tell they're the same like world. They're linked in anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's very it's, weird. It's so weird that they've gave us an Apex Legends and didn't put a single Titan in it. It's just yeah. Like I don't, I can't imagine that conference being like, yeah, we're gonna make this game and we're gonna base it on Titanfall, but we're not gonna put Titans in it. It's like what? <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. it's yeah, it's weird that like for example, like in you know in Apex in Kings Canyon, you see those weird dinosaur looking things on the outside. I'm surprised that we haven't seen like any like like broken down or like robots fighting in the back or something like that. Yeah, yeah, and they're I feel like they're not as good as events as like someone like Fortnite or um I don't know Destiny's gotten a little better but Fortnite has made has had huge mm -hmm. events I feel like Apex hasn't really worried about events really they'll have small events where something happens but it's never actively when the game's going on for instance uh Skull Town was blown up which was main hub in the map there's a reason it just kind of happens yeah, do you agree? Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. I, I definitely agree. Um, but I don't, uh, I don't think I care for anything for Timefall Three. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I would like one, but I, I like, like you said, I have Apex. I'm not really too worried. Yeah. I would like just another Timefall Three because I liked the campaign of the second one, which is cool. And yeah. I do like the online uh, because it was so different. And I could parkour off of everything. Would you go back if they made another one? uh at all would you go back to like let's say typefall 2 like 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 one day would you be like oh i want to mm. play this again mm, the campaign yes the online probably not because i assume it feels a little dated now but i'm not yeah. sure i would most likely just go back to the campaign because campaign's fun yeah 
And I always felt cool with that pistol where it immediately mm-hmm. locked onto people and I could oh, yeah, shoot. Yeah. Felt so cool. Sticking with EA, EA remains focused on live services with 14 new games this year. Electronic Arts gave investors an overview of its plan for the fiscal year that runs through the end of March 2021. The publisher has 14 games in the work, but it's also still committed to its ongoing live services like Apex Legends, The Sims 4, and EA Act. To upgrow these services, EA says it's looking uh, to expand its presence even further. Quote, this year we plan to grow our community's platforms. And- uh, EA Chief Executive Officer Andrew Wilson said, Building on our announcement with Google Stadia last week, we plan to bring our game more di- digital distribution channels. Take our subscription service to a fourth platform in Steam. And EA Access on Steam is one of the keys for the company. This will expose the subscription plan and its $5 and $15 per month options to Steam's millions of daily active players. But we are planning to launch 14 new titles to players this fiscal year, said and that includes four new EA Sports, FIFA, Madden, NHL, and one more unannounced sports, all which deliver on the mix of creativity out there. EA Sports, a part, a bunch of just, the rest is just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. They do bring up Con- uh, Command and Conquer Remastered, um, oh. and then they go to some unannounced games for console and PC players. And we'll have more games from indie developers launching this year through EA Partners and two new mobile titles. Leveraging top IP that will bring two players worldwide. And then here is the breakdown. One is Burnout Paradise Remaster coming to Switch. Command & Conquer Remaster coming to PC. The Medal of Honor VR game they announced. FIFA 21, Madden 21, NHL 21. And then the unannounced sports game. An HD remake of an EA game. EA partner game. And then EA partner game a bunch more times. Yep. Uh, there's four EA partner games and then two EA mobile games favorite ip hmm. hd remake and of an ea is... game i'm gonna call skate uh i think that's what you call everything <laughs> you just call it skate until they make it right <laughs> yep and did you see that they said that they're not going to make skate 4 or they have no plans yeah, for it they, at least they said they want to make a skate mobile game would you play that yeah they said they said oh that's what that is an uh, an hd remake of an ea game skate 3 on mobile maybe that's what that is odd because that's what they said because uh jason dill which is a skater in the games that that's who he got uh he got contacted by ea and they was like yeah we were uh, they were remaking this game and he was like why do not why don't you just make skate 4 and they were like no (laughs) they're like stop it you don't understand the business Uh, yeah right skate man yeah right (laughs) skate man and by the way that was what that was a uh, Jeff Grubb over on Venture B, and he does end the article with, "Oh, and that HD remaster of an EA game is the Mass Effect trilogy. Just don't expect that to also launch on Switch, oh, at least not gotcha. at first. So he ends it with telling us that the new one is Mass Effect mm. trilogy. So I assume he wouldn't say that without absolutely knowing he has con. I'm sure he has plenty of contacts to tell him things, and he wanted to tell people that don't worry, Mass Effect's coming. Oh, I'm excited for that. At least I give him new achievements again." I'm just upset they're not doing more because <laughs> I want Dragon Age Remaster. But hey, I'll take I'll take Mass Effect. I'll take Mass Effect. I'll take just Mass Effect. I'll take it. I'll take it and be happy. I'm excited. All this is is uh, uh, most of this I honestly don't care about. But I'm I'm down for this Mass Effect trilogy. The rest of the EA partner games. <clears throat> but yeah, nothing tantalizes me from all that. Nah, yeah. Not Moving wrong. on to Ubisoft. Ubisoft prepares for Rebound with five AAA titles planned for this physical year. This is by Rebecca Valentine Omar on GameIndustry.biz. A rocky year of delays and lowered revenues for Ubisoft is finally over. With the publisher releasing its Q4 and full year financial results today, while looking ahead to a more promising release late. For Q4 Physical 2019-2020, Ubisoft released sales of $519 million, down 7% year over year. Net bookings of four hundred fifty million, down thirty eight percent year over year. The lower revenues in no small part due to the lack of major releases this year. Ubisoft delayed Watch Dogs Legion, God of Monsters, Rainbow Six Quarantine in the into the next fiscal year to give the games more development time. However, Ubisoft added that its ongoing franchises remain successful and are seeing a boost in interest due to COVID nineteen, with Rainbow Six Siege specifically reaching over sixty million registered players and seeing record engagement in January, February and for the full year, Ubisoft is currently planning to release five AAA titles, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Watch Dogs Legions, God of Monsters, 
uh, got Ant Monsters, Rainbow Six Quarantine, and one more unannounced franchise, it's Far Cry. Three of these, including Assassin's Creed Valhalla, are planned for Q3, while the other two are planned for Q4. Hmm. And, well, and by the way, that last part was me just saying it's Far Cry, because we all know it's Far Cry. It was yeah, of course. Kind of leaked, but also like told to us by Jason Schreier a few weeks ago. Um, um, I think a few weeks ago now, but but he said it's it, it, it there was two unannounced at the time. It was Assassin's Creed and Far Cry. Did you see that um the 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 actor who played Voss had put something up to where like he's playing? Yeah, yeah, he, he was playing. He was playing, or he's going back into the world or something. So I'm wondering if they're yeah. Um, are they bringing them? Like, are we getting a prequel? I, maybe I honestly feel like it's either something to do with the us uh, it's either he's coming back in some sort of way in, in a game or they're making some type of show i feel like a show's unlikely but uh, but maybe i don't know maybe i i'm i don't know i, don't know. I feel like i don't know maybe the it would be interesting if if he's talking about it now mm-hmm like if he if he's if he's doing recordings now, then it's not the new Far Cry, because if he's doing recordings now, like this Far Cry game, if it's due out before, it should be due out before March twenty twenty one and a fiscal mm. year. So he's not going to be doing vo- VO yet, or sorry, he would have already done all VO and motion capture and all that yeah. stuff. So I assume if it would be probably more right to see it's something side project like, but I'm very curious if he meant prior to this or after he's done stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I I just uh, I I really like this character, so I I can't wait to be able to see. Yeah, I like Voss. I also like the guy after him. What was that in the oh um, in the Himalayas? Pagan, the guy named Pagan Min? by Troy Baker. Uh, you talking about Pagan What's Min? His... Yeah, Far Cry Four. Yeah, I liked him. I liked him. I think a little more. Really? Um, I think so. Yeah, maybe my thoughts deceive me, but I liked Voss a lot. But mm-hmm. Pagan Min just seemed crazier and, and more enjoyable to watch yeah in a kind of sick and twisted way i don't know um maybe far cry 6 will have voss and pagan no i'm just kidding pagan's dead uh, yeah they're gonna be buddies <laughs> they'll know yeah. they're they're old high school friends oh yeah and uh, they're gonna uh, band even together better even better they, they were maybe, lovers or or alex stick with me we're in it's called far cry hell oh that like oh, no, saints no, no. row far cry from hell Oh. And we're in hell fighting Voss and Pagan Minigan. We're, we're fighting all of our old past people. Yeah, <laughs> we're in hell fighting all of the people, and there's like a there's like three hundred of the evil people we've already killed, like the side people, like we have yeah. to fight again. This reminds me a lot of the Dragon Ball Z episodes where everybody's in hell, like Frieza and Cell and all them. And they watch, yeah, they're watching like the fight and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That 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 that's a good bring up, Alex. That's a good bring up. I expect it. <laughs> Moving on. Game director Neil Druckmann paid us all a visit uh, this week to confirm that Last of Us Part Two has gone gold, saying, quote, we will have the game in the coming weeks. And quote, mm. that means the gold master disc is ready and is being shipped to be produced. He also wanted to thank the team with their help on, quote, their most ambitious game yet, end quote. He also ended the video responding to the massive leak that The Last of Us has experienced, saying that, quote, nothing compares playing this from beginning to end last of us part two is scheduled for a june 19th release um since we reported on it last week i did want to remind everyone that they did end up find out who caused the leak it was not an employee of naughty dog nor was it a playstation employee it seemed to have been a uh, unrelated party that just hacked into a server and it took i think uh, the employee that he was hacking off of like it took him like a week to realize he was actually being siphoned off of Oh wow! The guy had the basically the whole game at that point. Just things he had. It's crazy, hey, man. It's okay. crazy how people go through so much just for that. And I'm like, just wait. How do you even know? Right? I mean, maybe he was bored and was like, I'm just gonna mess with people. Yeah, like, like, dude, hackers are scary. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, like you said, how did he even do that? I'm curious. Like, we need a. We need a like an uh, NCIS, NCIS episode or something over this. Okay. I was gonna say I thought you were about to say we need like a guest star hacker, and I was like, please don't. <laughs> God no, <laughs> stay away from us. <laughs> yeah. Or if, if, if you imagine if they somehow our call and started talking like, hey, I heard you needed a guest star hacker. Yeah, right. It's like I hear everything. 
<laughs> a very exciting Alex have you been spoiled yet uh I have not I have, have you? not either I have I'm pretty sure I've been trick spoiled by people I don't think people are curious but weird no I, did, I haven't looked someone at did anything post something on a th- on a thing mm-hmm. and tried to spoil it and oh no I, I haven't seen anything it. um uh, just another PSA don't go into our comments and read things audience leave a comment it's fine don't read anything just in case people hear Last of Us Part 2 and one. Yeah. Just for a rest of I doubt anyone in the Achievers audience would do that, though. I hope Moving not. On. Moving on. Techland states all is well. Taking to Twitter, Ola Sonjid. Oof, I butchered that. The senior PR manager at Techland has confirmed that the company was not acquired by another publisher, like the Polish report stated. Rumors where Xbox was purchasing them. I, uh, I heard these rumors last week. We weren't able to report on them because it seemed fishy. Mm-hmm. Um, looks like I was correct, but I did want to bring up that sh- that she because uh, I wanted to talk about Dying Light too, so I did want to bring this up. Um, and then while she had our attention, she did want to bring up uh, quote while I have your attention, development of Dying Light Two is moving forward. The game's in good shape and in good hands. Don't worry, not it is coming. End quote. Thank God. What I wanted to bring this up is it's it's good that we're getting this reassurance, but Alex, do you think this game is in trouble? What I, don't... I mean by that is we've hmm. we've seen this game in trailers, we've seen small gameplay snippets, and we've we've seen actual combat. But is are we getting are we getting like a Dead Island two scenario where this game's gonna no disappear th- or take forever to come out? No, I think we will get it. My my worry is that it's gonna come out in the worst time. It's gonna be in between something really big or in not in not in a time mm, where nobody's gonna care. That's a, that's so it's not point. gonna get the hype that it needed. That's a good that's a good point. I didn't think about that. I I'm I don't know. I'm starting to get worried only because when when I hear the words delayed indefinitely seems worrying because it's like you don't even know like the problem of whatever happened you don't even know when it's gonna be fixed so you're just like I'm just, we just don't know. I mean we don't even know why they delayed it. They just I I, I would ass- I was assuming because of this whole virus thing and you, maybe they wanted maybe to work on the game some more. Maybe I don't remember when they, I think, they did it. So I, maybe they did. Maybe that would make sense see. if it, if they did state it around. COVID, but I do not remember if that makes sense to to around the timeline they did this. I be honest, I don't remember um, the timeline they get that they, that it happened. But it is all possible that it was virus related, mm-hmm. or maybe they saw through the grapevine before a lot of us realized and was like, "Oh, this delay, we're not going to be able to yeah. get this through." But I'm very, very curious if, uh, when this game will eventually come out and how polished it will be, because hopefully it's not a buggy mess similar to. I think it was Dead Island, not two, but the one that came out after one. It was, I forget what it was called, but um, that was a little buggy. It was, All the Dead Island games are known for their bugging. It. it was January 20th when it said Dying Light 2 delayed indefinitely. So it was actually before everything. It, it, so, yeah, I don't know if I'd give the virus their delay. I guess so. Uh, because it was before, I think, even, uh, that was around the time, like, the government, I think. Yeah, it just it. said the studio needs more time. Yeah, they. I don't think they gave a reason. I, I'm ho- hope hopefully they figure it out. Yeah, hopefully they figure it out. We our all best wishes go to Techland. Make a good game. We will play it, and I can jump on zombies' heads. Yes. Um. Moving on. I can't wait for Dead oh. Island. Are we getting uh, when? When is this Dead Island two game coming? I I I have a feeling that we'll see something at that Xbox conference. I'm not entirely confident we're getting a good game at this point from Dead Island 2. You don't think so? I feel like it's it's worrisome when when the game gets thrown around so much and yeah, it, it's it, it's, hey, it's it's become look, it's, it's become it's, like the last guardian. You look, know what I mean? Look, it survived longer than Scalebound. That's a good point. So no, it's a right long yeah, game, scale and Scalebound actually had full on gameplay and everything, and that did not make it. That's true. That's true. That's true. Oh, and uh, I did forget to note um, the uh, Epic Games engine, Unreal, uh, the Unreal Five engine, like a little playable demo, was going to be playable at GDC. Mm. Uh, so people there would have been able to play that. That is wow. a that is a thing you can play, which is interesting. That's cool. Um, so, could have grabbed a controller and played it on a PS5. So apparently there were going to be PS5s at GDC as well, which kind of 
puts things in perspective now. Um, uh, knowing that since all this happened, GDC being canceled, yeah, maybe we would have known more about PlayStation Five if all that didn't happen. Um, I just saw as a PSA uh, for Epic Game Store, Grand Theft Auto Five is free until May twenty first. Ooh, there you go, guys. Go pick that up. That's free forever, I believe, right? Because um, don't you just claim it? Yeah, the, yeah, you, yeah, you just it? claim it, and then you get to keep it. Well, there you go. You guys get a free... Thanks to Alex, you get a free copy of Grand Theft Auto I was just looking, and it says right now you can get it up to May 21st. It says assuming you can get onto the site to load because people are going to go nuts. Oh, yeah. I, I assume it's already crashed. <laughs> Probably. Assuming. Moving on to the announcements. Ooh. Take Two Interactive's 2K Games label announces Mafia Trilogy, which will hold Mafia 1 through 3. They teased with a trailer of the gorgeous remaster of the original Mafia alongside Mafia 2 and 3. Alex, did you watch that trailer? Yes, I did. I cannot wait. Boy, howdy. Oh, it looks great. Mafia 1 looks great. Mafia 2 and 3 don't look really touched up, but Mafia 1 looks fantastic. And see, I've never played wish- Mafia 1. I didn't either. I do wish they touched up Mafia 2 that much because I love it so much, mm-hmm. but I am fine with just getting Mafia 1 fully remastered and then 2 just the way it was cuz I could play Mafia 2 again. That was so that was fun. Yeah, it was fun sure. being like a gangster and having a Tommy gun and running around being uh like this texture of of like a full-on mafia gangster from Oh yeah, yeah, you're just like a monster. And I, I want to tell you guys something because it's a really cool thing, but it spoils the game. So mm. I'm, I'm going to wait till the trilogy comes out mm. and we can talk about it. Yeah. Um, but there is a really cool thing in Mafia 2 that t- that shows you about something in Mafia 1. Ooh. Um, but I, I won't, of course, spoil it now because that would be scummy because it's coming out again and people might not have played Mafia 2 and Mafia 1, so they don't know how those end. Uh... I'm looking up real quick. Alex, did you get a? Did this have a date? Didn't didn't they say they would give us more information on May nineteenth? Yes. Uh, yes. More yeah, info. So, mm. promise to share additional details on May nineteenth, twelve p.m. Eastern, nine a.m. Pacific. Mm. There you go. That was from N Gadget. I did forget that. So that's a note. If you guys want to hear more on May nineteenth, uh, check it out. And then moving on to some next-gen announcements, Destiny and Fortnite have confirmed they will launch on the next-gen platforms. Only Fortnite has said it will be a launch title. Mm. Destiny just said they will be next-gen. They did not confirm whether or not a date of their um, actual release will be, but we know Fortnite will be. Boy, but I have the Apex out launch day. Oh, I'm very curious. You would have to assume every game as a service is going as oh, close to I day one as they can, right? Because just off the top of my head, Apex, yep, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, Fortnite, um, um, Fortnite, which we know now. A lot of people Destiny, play. They know now. A like, lot of people play that's, that's like, Warframe. I'm not gonna lie. That's a good point. I didn't even think about Warframe's huge with people. So yeah, you assume they're gonna try and be day one, like. I feel like if you want to be make a big splash, especially when you're free to play, you go day one on the next oh, gen, yeah. so people have something to play, um, which isn't something we had la- last gen. That you know, these free to play games are relatively new. Yeah. So there weren't that many last year or last gen, excuse. Me. Mm-hmm. And another the one f- that kind of stimulates me sexually, Tony Hawk's Pro Ooh. Skater One and Two remake announced for PS4, Xbox One, and PC, dated September fourth, twenty twenty. There is a trailer attached to this. I recommend watching it if you have any interest in skate. I have, I don't, I only played Tony Hawk Underground, I think. Um, but I liked that back in back in the day when I was a kid. So I assume I'll like this. It mm-hmm. looks really cool, and the visuals look awesome. And the uh, the bands they they're bringing like a bunch of bands back, which is exciting too. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's did awesome. You, did you play these, Alex? I, I... I don't even think do I. I don't think I've ever asked you if you played these. I, pl- I I played them a little bit. I think I don't think um I feel like I've played three and four and then past that. I don't think I ever played actually one and two. So I'm excited because I don't think I've ever actually played them. So it'll be new to me. But if I, remember, I haven't seen yeah. it, it's new to me. That's a Family Guy joke for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, but um, I don't remember what the family joke was. It's just I remember that specific <laughs> snippet of it. <clears throat> yeah, but no, I'm excited. Um, you did, you did tell me that there was a collector's edition for it. 
Yes, you get a deck, which yeah. is really cool. Um, speaking of which, I want to get that price. And as in deck, as in how much D E C K skateboard deck. Just want to inform people. I mean, people, a deck just saying, of cards. <laughs> I, well, I wanted to make sure so people, you know, some have actual, you know, accent issues. They say, you know, say that's they, true. Yeah, so a deck, as in a skateboard that's deck. True. Yeah, but yeah, you get a full on uh, deck. I forget what what does it say on it. Do you remember uh, what it what it was called? Um, I mean, the brand is Birdhouse because that's what Tony Hawk is. But let me see what see if I can find out what it is. Ah, oh, Tony. But, uh, yeah, no, it's exciting because, I mean, if I want to know how much it is, to be honest, because I, I don't even know the price for the collector's edition. Yeah, I'm trying to find that right now. That's the digital deluxe. There, 100 bucks, 100 bucks. you get the limited edition Birdhouse Falcon 2 design. Ah. Um, and it has Tony Hawk's signature on the top. I assume that's just printed on there. Oh, no, no, for sure. Tiny, but, I mean, it's his signature, though. Yeah. Um, And then you get the digital deluxe edition. Uh, with that content and yeah, the full full size birdhouse skateboard deck, which is dope. Mm. That looks so it, cool. Is it just the is it just the the deck like the wood and stuff? Yeah, it's just the yeah, just that. It's okay, just, it's just the wood of. I was about to say, uh, hopefully they don't. Because I was about to say they don't they uh they can't add trucks and wheels to that because those get pricey after a while. <laughs> now it's three hundred dollars. Yeah, well, because decks by themselves usually cost sixty bucks. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, when I used to skate, I used to buy decks, and they used to be like between sixty to a hundred bucks, depending on what deck you wanted. Jesus. Yeah. Um, and just so you guys know, if you pre-order digitally, you do get access to the warehouse demo to try out the game. That's dope. Um, and then physical pre-orders, you get a uh, a mini fingerboard. <laughs> oh, the tech decks. <laughs> yeah, you get a tech deck. If hey you man, pre-order let me get stuff. let me get that tech deck. So if you if you come over, they'll give you they'll give you a tech deck. Oh yeah. And the game by itself is only forty bucks, which I mean, that's not, awesome. not too bad. So you get a game for forty bucks, and you get a skateboard two. for twenty bucks. Wait, no, sorry. Two games, one that's and two. A, yeah, that's sorry. You get two games for forty bucks, and I, then you get a skateboard for sixty bucks because the games uh, the, the collector's edition is a hundred. There you go, Alex, helping you uh, financially. Yep. <laughs> Alex, that's the news for the day and the announcements for the day. Before we let the audience go, I want to bring up an important question. Hmm. What do you want out of next-gen hardware? What is one burning thing that you'd like out of the Xbox Series X or even PS5? What is that one feature that you think about every time you're thinking about dropping $500 on the new shiny box that we'll get? probably in october <laughs> what do you think what is that feature what is that thing that you're like ah i wish it would play this or think about this or let me do this what is it it's weird because i really miss a certain feature that they got rid of i don't know why mm, I, I want think, i think i know I will. let me guess because <laughs> it, it, it tells me it shows that i know alex mm -hmm. is it snap yes yeah it's yes. me too, buddy. Me I'm, too. Oh I my god, I miss Snap. I want it back so bad. Oh, I miss <laughs> being able know, to this, see my achievements is, side by side. This is early gen Xbox One, and this I loved this. It was like one of the best honestly. features I've seen. And you can you can snap on a feature. For instance, I could snap on a YouTube video while playing a game, or I can snap on Twitch, play a game, or I can snap I can snap things on and do something else. While. That was really cool and they took that away they promised to give us um full on uh oh what's it called screen in or no is it picture in dual, picture not duels picture in picture thank you thank you um they promised picture in picture over this um and maybe hey maybe series x will have that maybe but i i i i miss snap in some if i get picture in picture of course that's even better yeah but i miss it they need to bring it back they they need to make it a thing again all right because yep. it was a good feature that people people shitted on, but I feel like if they used it, they yeah, no, I used the hell out of it. Is there anything else? I have one. <sighs> it has nothing to do with Xbox, but I have to talk. I have to talk about it for a second because I have no idea how Please. this is gonna go. Please, it has nothing related to any of this. Okay. Disney okay. Pl Disney Plus, and I don't know if it's a rumor, has announced that they're doing a Kingdom Hearts live action. 
Okay, no, no, no. So, that, so that was a that. What was, is it? So I looked into that. You looked into that. Okay, please tell me more. At first, it was a it was a rumor. Okay. Now it seems like a guy, a guy just said it. Really? <laughs> so, so I, it's one of those things where it's probably fake, but in my hearts of hearts, I'm upset now. I want that. Du- I want that dude to to to. Do you remember like the Apex thing? Where mm-hmm. that one guy leaked the map of Apex Legends and said it was oh, a yeah. game they were making based off yep. Titanfall. And nobody and ever. Two years before yeah. the game came out and yep. no one looked at it. Yep. I want that to be this. Yep. You know what I mean? I want that. I want it, I want us to all ignore it. And then in three years we get Kingdom Hearts. And that's, you know, and to speak on that really quick. Because <laughs> as much as I want this to be a Kingdom Hearts podcast, it is not. Disney has has accepted kingdom hearts more and more as time has gone oh for sure right it started off with the pin me and alex know what that pin is it's organization mickey yep right that was in disney shops that was insane when when me and alex saw that that was that was like unthinkable then they started making more pins which kingdom hearts 3 yep and then they started making uh, disney edition pins then the unthinkable happened and kingdom hearts donald and goofy came into magic kingdom once Mm-hmm. like you could go and you could meet them you can hang out that is a huge that was pretty big deal oh for sure and um and i don't know if i was being and i'm gonna tell you guys a story oh story tell time you a story sit back relax mm. drink drink tea. comfy drink some tea so i went to the kingdom hearts 3 event in disney springs because you guys know we we're in georgia and we're close to florida so i i we spent a weekend up there because i wanted to try out the demo and when i went and played the demo i left and we stopped by to get some you know knickknacks and things like that and i and just to point out i wasn't wearing kingdom hearts anything my girlfriend wasn't wearing kingdom hearts anything we were buying some we were buying nothing kingdom hearts related but at checkout the guy goes so did you come for the the kingdom hearts demo and i go yeah i did i loved it and i swear to god he was i think they were counting how many people were coming Mm. So I feel like they're, they're judging trying to see. the waters yeah. on how on how much Kingdom Hearts influences people coming to Disney, and if it influences them to come to Disney World, then hell yeah, they're gonna like incorporate more things from that no, for into sure. the actual canon like Disney period, like proper. Yeah. Because it was kind of strange. I felt like I was like being spied on. <laughs> <laughs> and I maybe conspiracy theory sounding, but I was like, how, how the heck? I left and I was and I looked over to my girlfriend. I was like, how, how did he know that? Because he he just off the. It's like, S- S- did you guys come for the for the demo? Like like yeah. Like he said it like he knew. He's like, oh yeah. So I feel like they got they got spies, man. They got oh, spies oh, for sure, man. They got spies. Also, something I want out of next gen is uh, themes. Why don't we have themes? Yes, like, like yeah, like, like that's that's one thing that PlayStation has always had since PS3. That's so awesome. Yeah, I mean, 360, yeah, yeah. 360 had it. They had the little backgrounds because I had the also the, like a super oh, cool uh, Dante's Inferno that's one. True. Yeah, and I don't know where themes went. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they wanted did too much more of it. a Microsoft Windows thing or something. Yeah. But I want I want themes to come back. I want at least. So, so way to implement implement songs because mm-hmm. i do really like songs being able to be played while like the dashboard's on mm-hmm. so i do i do miss that because like uh for instance on the playstation i have the kingdom arts uh theme mm-hmm. on and i hear king of hearts music it's dope i just mm-hmm. want that feature on xbox i have days gone on right now oh that's a good one that's a good yeah. one the persona 5 royale one's good too oh yeah Alex, anything else? Anything pressing off next gen? You you don't know Phil Spencer? He could be listening right now. Hey man, he he could. And he be. goes, oh, that's a good idea. Let me let me let me bubble that up to. So, I'm, to I mean, the, to, I mean, you never uh, know. They might bring Arnie. more stuff back because I mean, they started doing the new Avatar thing. I wonder what they're gonna do with that. That is strange that they yeah like, like they just that they revamped that but like for like what for what like they haven't done we much look with like it. Pic- it looks like Pixar quality damn near like, right like the people look really good yeah they look really good but like so for what's the reason that will implement in yeah some way. so I don't know because I remember in 360 when you had your thing you know you go to over to your guy's character or let's say I'm looking like looking for someone I find you you have a background and then you have you know your guys just sitting there but like now you actually, you don't you don't, can't do any of that so like at least at least make it a pin 
to where like if you pin it on your home you can scroll down and your guys like just chill in there or something i don't know instead of yeah instead i don't of, hate i don't hate that I, that yeah. sounds cool yeah uh, yeah i i wonder if they're they're planning on incorporating because like you said it, it's strange that they just here's a full upgrade of the avatar that hasn't been used in a long time mm-hmm and now it's a thing, and, and they still kind of hide it. And I have, they've incorporated it back into your gamer card, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Where, yeah. like, you know, you see your achievements and things. Yeah. Because you can put him there where they oh, yeah. just be dancing. But that's it. And you look at your... But, yeah, that that's... Um, all. I have one more that I just thought of. Bring... Let me... <laughs> I ha- let, uh, let, let me do this because I'm going to forget it. Uh, go ahead. This is a shout-out to Ryan McCaffrey from IGN. Bring back one, one versus one hundred, <laughs> Alex. Do you remember this? Yes. Like bring that back. That was awesome. That was like events. That was. I remember we would plan days around that. Me and Alex would get on, play one versus one hundred, and see how long we could last. Oh, for sure. That was like early on in online games too. Like that was the first battle royale. <laughs> oh god, yeah. How long? One versus one hundred. But what's yours? What's yours? Bring back completion list like on 360 it would tell me how many games i've fucking completed why don't i have that anymore can you elaborate what do you mean i, I don't so, remember this feature. okay so in 360 there was a part like right like to where you can see how many games you've a thousand really yes do you not remember this i didn't know i don't remember yeah you would go like to like if you scroll over to your character oh wait it would I, show I your I little know. it would show the no. like the most recent ach- in like head. the last nine achievements i think you've gotten you scroll over one more and i'll show you like you can put change theme or it'll show you the games and it'll say uh completed games and it'll say like let's say i think it's out of oh god what was it i think it's like let's say if you played 500 games it says maybe 30 or 40 it'll sh- it'll show you how many games or let's or without uh, or out of everything it would just say you completed 30 games like that means how many games you have a thousand of platinuming a yes game. that yeah bring that back because it's, I, I don't know why I, but I'm, it bothers I'm, I'm, me I'll that, I'll I, don't, that. I, I don't know like, how I, I want, many i want some sort have. of importance to be added to an a thousand Yes, because I feel like I, there's I no point anymore. Because gamer I use... score to me is is more satisfying, but platinuming is a bigger deal. Do you yeah. Know, you know oh yeah, I mean? for sure. Because it's annoying. Because like we used to, we're, we're achievement horse. We used to, we used to get, like 100%. go for thousands all the time, and it was so much fun. But late, lately, dude, I have not been caring because I don't feel like there's a, uh, um. Like, am I getting any 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 satisfaction out of it? Like, or I was like, I can't see like uh, a completion to anything to be like. If I had a list, to be like, oh, you know, like like for trophies, like oh, you have like, we uh we know uh, you know we just saw someone that hit a hundred platinums, that's cool. And that's you know, cool. It, it it shows me I can set up a goal. If like let's say many I have like. 99 games a thousand i'm like oh and i need one more game and i can hit 100 you know it's an achievement like but i now that i don't see is like it's not like achievements are slowly like yeah for me they like it they need to bring me back i don't remember if you remember me doing this but i pitched you an idea at the very beginning of xbox one okay um years ago and i want to and i'm gonna re-pitch it again okay so why aren't there xbox achievements what I mean by that is, why aren't there native achievements in Xbox One that you can pin on your profile mm. so people know how hardcore you are? For instance, oh, for sure. Um, why isn't there a, a goal for you've 1,050 games and there's maybe a little 50 with like a badge. gamer score underneath? Or you have the pin for uh, getting a million gamer score. You know, yeah, you know, no, and, yeah, you like, know, there's like, a, like that. Yeah, like, like a so badge. Accomplishments that you've played natively through your account. Yeah. That you can show off. And I said I'm that back then, and I'll say it again. I feel like that's going to be on next gen, but God. I said that before Xbox One came out, so you know I could be yeah. wrong. Just I want them to uh, incentivize the achievements more because, like uh, lately, I it's just been feeling like there there's no point anymore, and it's and it's, I don't want to well, feel that way. I think it slowly became. Um stale you know what i mean yeah yeah not st- no. and I'm, i still like achievements no no i do I don't too feel but that pull yeah exactly as much anymore i want to be I'll able to first, feel but not as not as frequent anymore yeah i think it just needs a small revamp yeah just a sure. small like like i said like that one implement implementation i think would get a lot of people to do it mm. 
Um, and maybe if you put it like a really cool sound behind it when you do a full on Xbox achievement rather than just your achievement from a game. Yeah. I mean, like they ended, I, I think, they, I they think, did that with the I rare think they ones. Could really take it. Right, I, and I think that was a good idea because <laughs> that I don't know what thing that activates in my brain that makes it satisfying, but that is very satisfying. Oh no, for sure. And, that, and see, when that does, does does happen, I do get excited. I'm like, oh hell yeah, I got a rare one, but like it's not going anywhere. Like I know my achievement score is still going up, but it's it, like nobody can see that like nobody's and it's not like 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 you said we should have like a badge or a pin or something to show be like oh you just now hit i mean like you you just now hit what two hundred fifty thousand or two hundred sixty thousand? i did yeah very recently i'm, I'm at two hundred and fifty thousand gamers yeah very proud so like of it. like you would have just ladies hit and gentlemen and hold your applause please please hold your applause <laughs> please thank you so much <laughs> thank, you, thank, but, you, thank you but um you would just i mean you would get a pin or whatever saying oh like you're you know I remember on the website on the Microsoft Rewards before they switched over. It, if you had so many amount of achievements, you would be in this rank or in this rank. Like they yes. don't show that what anymore. What was that called? That they, 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 it was really cool. It would say you were like a. Uh, you were. Uh, I know. What you, I, I don't remember the I, name, but you were yeah. like you. You were like elitist, or you know, like <laughs> that sounds terrible. No, I, I know. I know what you're talking about. But. but <laughs> You were an elitist. <laughs> no, but you were, you know, you were c- cool guy number 85 or something like that. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean, like, it, it was a cool thing that you got a cool little title that you couldn't really do it, but it, feel, it feels cool when you hit that ep- echelon of achievements. Yeah. I remember getting, like, the breakdown, and I was, like, in the, like, one, like, negative 1% of people that, like, have the amount of gamer score I have or something. Mm-hmm. Which is cool. I wish you could put that on, like, your card or something. Yeah, no, for sure. I wish, like, oh, I miss it. It's annoying. On that note, rant over. <laughs> <laughs> and I was worried we wouldn't bring anything out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Ranting over. Thank you so much for listening. What is your one thing you want out of next gen? What's that one thing? What's that one burning thing that you're like, God, I want this. I need this implemented. Out of anything, PS5. Hey, maybe you're a PC player and you want PC2 to be made. I've been waiting for PC2. It, whatever you can do, tell us in the comments below or tweet at us at EVM. Remember, we are the Easy Achievers coming every single Friday. Two free feeds on your part and YouTube again. Remember, patreon.com slash Easy Achievers. They support us. Mics on, the lights on. Keeps. On that note, Alex, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Go achieve. Go achieve.